know some beauties in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas, they all be showing affection. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, do yourself a favor, subscribe, hit that bell notification, come join the team, we getting baddies over here. Today's video, you guys see the title, Chasing Women is Pointless. It really is. It really, really is, bro. Um, I have a whole nother story about a situation, real life situation, you know what I mean, story time, that happened this past weekend where I was tempted, well, she tried to tempt me to chase, I didn't chase, I let her leave, a whole nother video. But, Chasing Women is Pointless, for many reasons, you guys, let's, let's break it down. If you are chasing something, if you're chasing a person, or just anything, it means that that thing didn't wanna be in your life. Now, there's always a reason why that thing or person or whatever does not wanna be a part of your life. So you, by you chasing it, doesn't make that thing want to be in your life even more. If anything, it's running away. So guess what it wants to do? Run away. Like, let's say somebody robbed a bank, right? They see the police, they start running. You think once the police chase after them, hey, slow down, stop. He gonna be like, slow down. All right, man. What's up, what's good, what's good? Hands behind my, behind my back. I thought you wanted to like talk and things were gonna be cool. Why you, ah, that hurt. Why you locking me up, man? Come on, come on, fam. Yo, I'll split the money with you. No, it's not the way it works. All right, something is running away from you. It does not want to be chased. But with women, yes, of course, they want to be chased subconsciously underneath the surface but the ironic thing is once you do chase them they're repulsed they want nothing to do with you but you are thinking like as a man i gotta chase her down bro i gotta chase her down get her back in my life because if i don't then she's gonna think i don't care and, and i gotta prove to her that I, I really do care about her she means a lot to me why would i just let her walk away and walk out of my life because you value yourself. You're the king. King don't be running after nobody. But bro, she the queen. Well, if she's the queen, she's not gonna be running away, trying to be chased. You can let her go, she'll be back. Cause queens are always gonna come back to the king. They're always gonna come back to the palace. If you really the king, queens are not gonna go to peasants. They ain't gonna do it. She might go to a peasant and be like, hey peasant, how are you? You wanna go on a date? Okay, so where are we gonna go? You said you wanna go get some, some grass? Like, like marijuana or like, Oh, you mean like grass, like what horses eat? Okay, I'm just gonna go back to um to the king, to the palace. Okay. Just don't just don't try to get past the security. Okay, they gon' they gonna shoot you with the bow and arrow. They, they don't want nothing to do with it. Alright? They're not gonna date lesser. So over time you've probably built rapport with her and she understands who you are and what you have to offer to the relationship. So if you feel like you are lacking something, then your instinct is gonna tell you to chase her. Your insecurities are gonna tell you to chase her. Your lack of self-worth is gonna tell you to chase her. But guess what? She's testing you. She's testing you. Chasing her is pointless. Chasing her means you don't pass the test. You failed instantly. Why is he chasing me? Oh my God, look at him. He's so insecure. I was gonna come back. He impatient. You know, by himself? Why he's so worried about? He think I'm gonna go talk to somebody else? If I do, I'm probably not gonna like him as much. Or I'm probably gonna like him more now because I know that he, he don't even like himself. He chasing me, making me feel like I'm all that. He ain't got no other hoes. They're never gonna tell you, oh, you ain't got no other hoes. They're never, never gonna ask that. They're never gonna bring that up. They might bring it up, obviously, like being petty, like, I don't go talk to the other girls, da, da, da. But I'm talking about when they really thinking it, they ain't gonna say it. But trust me, they thinking it. It's at the top of their brain. If you had an abundance mindset and an abundance of women, what reason would you have to be chasing this one stray? Excuse me, I'm not a stray. I'm just, I'm a bad queen, okay? I'm like the, you a stray. They gonna try to hype themselves up because women don't want to feel like they just another one. But in some weird, I don't know, mysterious way they do want to because they want to have to chase you they want to have to validate themselves and make themselves worthy and good enough to be with you to even just be in your presence to take your time because you have so many you see the top of the top you see the people that got all the women right you're thinking well if i have so many women then she's not gonna want me because i have so many women no she has to prove to herself that she's just as worthy or even more worthy than these other women to be a part of your life. It's an ego thing. Women are very egotistical, illogical and egotistical. It's just the way it is. Not saying it's right. It's just the way it is. So there's no fighting it. 
Don't try to fight it. Just stop chasing. Start replacing. It's pointless. You're wasting your time. You need to just focus on yourself. You can never control, like I said in my last video, you can never control women's emotions. They're going to be emotional and make decisions based off emotion. So if you chase her, it doesn't change the fact that her emotions say, I need to run away. I need to get away right now. So trying to chase her and, and, and change her emotions and, and make her realize, think logically, you're not even trying to change her emotions. You're trying to make her think logically, which in turn you think is going to change her emotions, which you're not going to get past her emotions and get to her brain for her to think logically to go and change her emotions. It's not gonna happen. So just give it up. You're stressing yourself out. You could be focusing on yourself. She's gonna come back either way. It's pointless You're wasting your time. Hit up another girl. But Mr. Guy, I really like this one. I, I, I don't want her to think that I'm being, you know, like unfaithful and hit up another girl. Ask her to spend some time with you. Tell her you want to kick it. Hang out with her. Get your mind off this girl. Realize to yourself that you have options. You have more than one available. That way you're not so consumed and, and worried about what she's doing and who she's with. Because it doesn't matter. Because even if you guys were together for 10 years, at any second she can drop you and date and go behind your back and cheat, sleep with somebody else. And then what? What are you going to do? As much as you think, that's not possible. We're so deep in this, like we love each other, we hang out all the time. It's possible, it happens. It has happened, it's life. Then you're emotionally consumed and wrapped up in it to the point where you can't function anymore because now your whole world is shook. So chasing her only gives her strength over you. Chasing her only just, you know, makes her feel powerful, boosts her ego for her to come back and make you chase her all over again. Because now she knows what it takes to make you weak. She found a chink in the armor. She took advantage of it. She'll continue to do it. And she'll enjoy it. She's probably running away in a, in a, in a fit, right? Having a whole attitude. But secretly. They enjoy it. They sick in the head. Sick. But that's just how it is. And we gotta live with it. So, chasing is pointless. Don't do it. Stop it. If you are, just chill out, bruh. Chill out. Everything's gonna work out. With that being said, until next time, focus on you. And the women will too. I know some bitches in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas, they all be showing affection. I know some hoes out in Georgia, cut the whip on the floor. Know some bitches up in Nazi.